What's up? It's Last Replays. Welcome back to another Smite video. Today I'm playing Cuba with a Cuckoo, a Guan Yu, a Ares against me with Artemis and a Nox on his team. Artemis is like rank, I don't know, friggin' 12, something like that. I don't know. Uh, Cuckoo is rank 10, and then Ares rank 1, Nox 0, Guan Yu 0. Alright, so this could be a good game. And Dragon's Rage is actually a really dope looking skin, so I'm gonna see how that looks in game. I'm a little worried about that Artemis though. You know how those crits can be. It's been a while since I played an, an, a hunter. Oh, I hate this skin. I remember that now. Sometimes you forget how much you hate a skin. Until Cupid says some dumb stuff. Okay, so we're going against an Ares and a Nox, so I'll get purification beads. I'm worried about the Nox and Ares, even though they're low rank, but I'm more worried about the Artemis, of course. So my second item I'm thinking is Lifesteal, because Lifesteal will be good with, with uh, against these people. Minions have spawned. Especially because Artemis is going to be taking chunks out of my health anyway. Why would you take it? Buzz, buzz, and a buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a P. I'm a Bumblebee. Well, that was a miss. Ah, oh, great. I was on a team with this JDM dude last game, and he was playing Hades, and we went like. First 10 minutes of the game, we were negative. And then I brought it back because I was playing Loki. And I don't want to record a video of me playing Loki because that's just. Uh... Congratulations, you have slain an enemy no! has been infested. You have slain an enemy. Revit. How you do that? Be right back. I'm so sweet. I'm a bee. I'm a bumblebee. And a buzz, 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 and a buzz, buzz, buzz. One thing I always forget about Cupid is to make is to level up his buff so that I can get that stun in. But you really don't need it. Like he's just a great character overall. So there's absolutely no need for you to um, get that stunning. In. Watch, it's gonna it's gonna stun. See, boom. Just gotta get those hearts. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a big fan of that range, in all honesty. That hog just knows how to make his way back, back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. That's good to know. Even though it's not there, you could have seen that on the map first, but... Okay, that was terrible. They always stick around when they have low health. I don't understand this team at all. What's their tactic? Are they baiting? Or are they just not the brightest team? An 
Oh, get wrecked. I didn't level up my passive, did I? No. Well, that was a terrible time to miss. You have slain an enemy. I'm so sweet. I love Cupid. Out of mana. Thanks. Out of mana. Be right back. We got 3.4k. Let's do it. I'll get the red because that's just who I am. I this was a this must have been a long time ago because I have I what? Okay. Um I haven't actually created a build in a long ass time. I just kinda go with whatever. But um about the second week that I played Smite, I'd build like every character that I got. Um I'd look at like all the pros and cons of each build statistically. And then I kind of put it on, but it's completely unnecessary if you know how to change. Because the first second, the first second week, I was looking at it as pure damage and stats and stuff like that, but I wasn't taking into account the different types of gods and everything that are in the game. Uh, with the penetration, the crit, like different stuff like that, I didn't know how to change it. So I just put shit that looked good on the on the overall stats. And it didn't work for me. So I stopped using it. Did a tiny bit of research on um, build making and the best times to use a uh, unicorn build or the best times to use a crit build. Well, that was just rude and completely unnecessary. Like, what's that gonna do? Kill me? I'm keep it for God's sake. I'm building stacks. Um, I don't actually remember what I used to do. Um, I mean, execution has always worked for me. And then normally I'd go for either penetration or crit. Um, so next I'm either gonna go for Jotun's Wrath or like Wind Demon or something like that. Yeah, I'll probably go for Wind Demon actually. Killing we'll see. We'll see what I need. I think I'm gonna need more penetration just because this Ares is a piece of shit. Maybe I should abbreviate my swearing. This guy's a POS type type deal. I don't know why he keeps trying to face me. It makes no sense because you're not good at Ares. You know? I mean, you're a guardian for one. Though Ares is one of the most damaging guardians, you're going against a guy that actually knows how to play his character. It's like 1v1ing with a new god the day it comes out. It makes no sense. I guess only to figure it out, but... He's done it three times this game, and it's not helping him. He doesn't even chain me. His chains are, chains are the most important part of his build. Or his kit, I guess. I'm not a big fan of like unicorn builds for 
are hunters for the like one reason that it's not good on towers. It really isn't. Crit builds are great on towers because they incorporate speed and it just gets the job done. Especially for bul for bulking. If you use a unicorn build for bulking, it really does no damage. And then if you use a crit build, that, that thing's going down really fast. That's what I learned about playing Loki. For As far as people go, building crit Loki is completely unnecessary. But if you want to take out a bulking fast and you just want to run and gun all the towers and phoenixes in conquest or whatever, then build straight crit because you'll eat through all the towers. You'll probably get your ass kicked harder than like any other Loki, but you're going to be eating those towers. One thing I do like about unicorn builds is the, the damage is great. The damage is great on abilities, so like characters like Cupid or Hu Yi, you know, characters that have powerful skills um, really benefit from a good unicorn build. Wow, they did not want the sauce. They really didn't. They were like, I'm done, I can't. We have a diamond. We have a diamond Artemis, but I'm not taking this kind of deal. So all in all, it was a pretty fun game. Um, there were definitely some things I could have improved on. Maybe not missing as many squares as I actually did. Uh, maybe hitting my circle a little bit more, which was the dash. Um, since it does get a bit of DOT off as well. Um, so... Yeah, all in all, it wasn't a terrible game. It was actually pretty entertaining. I found it pretty enjoyable. Um, my teammates were fun to play with. The enemies were fun to play against. A little bit weak, but still fun to play against. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up button. Go into the comments. Tell me what you want to see. Um, and then, you know, turn on my post notifications because that's always going to help you find the next video that I post. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.